Hi, good evening, Lane. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Great. Doing great. We're about to start. Start the night here. A rainy night. Here, there's a there's a rainy night. Yeah. In your house, yes. Here, actually, the wind is blowing really strong, and there's a lot of um, static. Okay. I just had I just had some issues with the internet on the previous class. Uh yesterday. No, right now because of. Oh, the... right now. The yeah. internet connection maybe is slow or very low. Or unstable. Good. Unstable. Uh, okay. Un unstable. Good. Unstable internet connection. Yep. Okay. So we are two, four, six. Okay, guys. We're going to start today with um, a conversation, okay? You have to speak. That's very important. So let's start by making a simple question, okay? How's it going? How's it going? I'm going to share my screen with you really quick. So you can get me. How's it going? Hey, how's it going? It's another way of saying, how are you, right? Old school, old school. How are you? How's it going? You mean how are you, it's old school. Yeah, that's too old, old school, okay? okay. Or not natural. Let's say not natural will be, how are you? How are you? <laughs> okay, so Americans or a more natural way will be, how's it going? Okay, how do you answer? How do you answer? Not bad. Okay. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Good. I'm doing good. It's okay. I'm doing good, not going, right? Not going. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay. I'm doing good. Um, you can also say so far, so good. In this case, you can say uh, it's okay. It's okay. Like that, Ricardo, it's okay. Yeah. yeah, or you can say awesome. Like that, awesome, man, awesome. How's it going? Awesome. Increíble, right? Amazing. It's going good, man. It's amazing, awesome, okay. And then we can continue the conversation with a very used um, question. Mm, oh, what have you been up to? Okay, what have you been up, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? Or contracted, okay, what have you been up to? What you been up to? What have you what, been up? What you been up to? Hmm. So let's say, let's say that I have a long time without seeing um, Alain. So I go like, "Hey, Alain, how's yeah. it going?" Not bad. I'm doing good, teacher. Doing good. Great. Hey, Alain, not long time no see. Long time no see. Hace long rato... time no see. Hace rato que no te veo. Ay, hey, long time no see. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Then Alain could I, say. I was, oh. I uh -huh. was studying English out of my country. Okay, I've been. So then I've you. Been. I've been, yeah. I've been uh, studying English out of the country, out of my country. Good. Um, I got married. Okay. Reason the opposite. Reason. I got... <laughs> That's. <laughs> I got divorced. Okay. I got divorced. Okay. I broke up, etc. Whatever you want to say. So this is a natural conversation. Okay. So how's it going? Not bad. 
I'm doing good. So far, so good. Awesome. Okay, hey, long time no see. What you've been what you've been up to? What do you been up to? Oh yesterday I I worked at home, you know, I painted the house, whatever, right? Sorry, guys. Okay, so um, let me go one by one. I need to hear you speaking. That's very important. So uh, let me go with Gerardo, Gerardo Magaña. Teacher. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing good, teacher. Great. Hey, what you been up to? Uh, only I studied... Uh, in the university. Okay. Uh, uh, in the yes, uh, university. Okay, let's correct that, Gerardo. I've just been studying, okay, at the university. That's the way I will say it, right? I've just been studying at the university, you know. Algo muy americano. Same old, same old. Uh, same old, same old. Like that. Oh, menos. No, eso es como decir la misma cosa de todos los días. Y no es algo pesimista, eh. es un dicho muy usado más que todo por los americanos viejos. <laughs> They go like, ah, same old, same old. La misma cosa, todos los días. Right? <laughs> Still the same, same old, same old. Pero ser natural, eh? That's very important. Okay, Gerardo. Good job. Anthony Gonzalez, good evening. Good evening. How's it going? I'm just been studying at the university and I've been trying to learn to speak English. Wait! <laughs> Hold your horses. Everybody, hold your horses. Hold your horses. Frank Sinatra, 1970. Hold your horses. Let's take it nice and easy. It's gonna be so easy. Okay, nice and easy is the name of the song. Hold your horses. That's an idiom, okay? Anthony, I'm asking you, how's it going? Which means, how are you? Okay, but I don't want you to say, how are you? Try uh, to say. Okay, okay. So uh, here you have. Oh, yeah. uh, well, I'm so good. You're so good, okay. Some yeah. good? Okay. <laughs> good, Anthony, I'm so good. Okay. I'm, dale, yeah. so, dale más emoción, Anthony. I'm so good. I'm so good. Very good, porque si no sonas como droppy, right? Estoy tan feliz. Right? Okay, good. Okay, emotion. Okay. Te digo, en 30 años me he conocido un gringo que no hable con emociones. Que exprese mm -hmm. a un ¡Ay! Se ponen rojos. Es en serio. Okay. Necesitamos expresión. That's right. Okay. Anthony, give me some... Now you can extend. Now you can extend. Hey, what have you been up to? ¿Qué has hecho? What, what have you been up to? to? Uh, I am just being studied at the university and I tried to learn to speak English, learning to speak English, and I'm old. I'm old. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, that sounds good. I tried learning, learning to speak English. Learning to speak English. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Great job, Anthony. Good job. Okay, Carlos, how's it going? It's going dying good, teacher. And, and uh, so fresh because the weather is too cool. It's too cold. Cold? Cold. It's too cold. Cold. It's too cold. cold. So you're, are you cold? Are you cold, Carlos? Uh, only fresh. Just fresh. Okay. Just fresh. fresh. Okay. Traten de cambiar el only for just, ¿ok? Just, yes. okay. Ojo con estos tips. Pueden sonar pequeñitos. Pero, 
Me va a cambiar bastante. <risa> Luis. Su manera de hablar, pero un poquito más naturales a lo de, ¿ok? So, repetía. Quitamos el only, tratamos de usar el just. Muy similar, ¿eh? Ok. Good. Good job, Carlos. Um, Daniel. How's it going? I'm doing good. Oh, good to hear. What have you been up to? Uh, I've been studying at the university and working with my father in the afternoon. With who? Your parents? My father. Or your father? father. Oh, really? So, what do you do? Uh, take, take care of animals. You take care of animals? Yes, Is that uh, a, a, an animal's shelter? Is it? Do you have an animal shelter or a vet? Es un refugio de animales o un veterinario? No, no. Es como propio. Yes, but oh, okay. So it is a shelter. Si es un si es un refugio, pero propio. So maybe I think it's a farm teacher. Farm. Farm. Oh. Yes. Good. Oh my God! Okay, that's a farm. Okay, hmm. Let's see, Daniel. What animals do you have? Mention Cow. three animals you have. Cows and two horses. Cows. Okay, horses. What else? One more. That's it. Dogs. Dogs. Yeah. Yeah, no, no hands. No hands? No. You know hands, okay, good, you know hands. There you go. <laughs> yes, there you go. There's a difference, right? Hands, chicken, and roost, rooster. Roosters, okay. You know what is a rooster, right? Gallo. Yes, there you go. Recuerden, todo lo que me rodea lo puedo decir en inglés, así de que me fijo, ¿ok? En cómo se dice cada palabra que me rodea. It's very important. Great job, Daniel. Te envidio, de verdad. I envy you. Very good. Janet. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's it going? Um, I am doing good. I'm doing good. Okay, I'm doing good. I'm really? doing good. <laughs> awesome. That's great to hear. What have you been up to? Uh, this day, I I worked. Mm -hmm. I worked and I played in the afternoon. In the afternoon with my son. Oh, good. Great to hear. Good job, Janet. Just this day, you say today. Ah, oh, today. <laughs> today. <laughs> okay. With that. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. okay. I think I talked to Elaine already, right? Did I talk to Elaine? Sort of? Yeah. Gerardo, I talked to Gerardo. Okay. Okay, let's move on, guys. So, this has to do with your uh, last class. Remember? Present perfect versus uh, what? Simple past. So we will continue covering these uh, topics, but we're going to use an opening question. We're going to use the, the following question. Um, have you ever cooked? Have you ever cooked? Okay. So. To give an example, let me talk to Roberto. Okay, Roberto Santos. Let me make the question to Roberto, okay? Okay, Roberto, have you ever cooked? Yes, I have. Okay, he said yes, I have. Okay. I, I cooked. Keep going. I cooked. I cooked. 
I cook. I fried chicken. In my house. I cooked in my house. Remember, simple past. Let's say when. Give me time. Time. I cooked in my house last year. Last year. Last year. Last year. Last wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not That's nice. Long time ago. It's so far. Okay, really. Listen. How? Okay. Who was it? How was it? I took it. I took it. I was it. I cook. I cook. I cook. Uh, fried, fried chicken. I with my mom. Okay. Uh huh. When? 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 When he cooking? When he cooking? Cooking. He was cooking. He was cooking. Like that? Okay, I cooked with my mom when she was cooking. Oh, okay, so uh -huh, no liar. Okay. <laughs> you, were, you were just helping your mother. <laughs> Give me the salt. Dame la sal. Yeah, mama. <laughs> Good. So that's the example, right? You keep going with the conversation. The opening question is, have you ever cooked? Okay. Have you ever cooked? Yes, I have. I cooked to past simple. So let's practice really quick for a few minutes before. Yes. In the answers, I can say it, it was, a, it was, I said my friend. Agárrela, mm. rápido, rápido. ¿Qué se hizo? It was, it was amazing because mm. I, I cook, it, cook it with my mom and I have a long time mm. that I, that, that I not cook it with she. Okay, here. Um, Anthony, uh, pronombres. Okay, object pronouns. Van al final de las oraciones con ella. Okay, como objeto de la oración. I had a long time not cooking with her. Tenía mucho tiempo de no cocinar con ella. Mm -hmm. Same thing. I had a long time not talking to her. I had a long time not telling her. I had a long time not telling her I love her. I had a long time not seeing her. Este ejemplo lo puedo ocupar muchísimo. Good job. I had a long time not seeing her. And so on, okay? Solo, Anthony, reemplazar objetos. I had a long time not seeing her. Oh, not seeing her. Okay. I had a long time not loving, not hugging her. I had a long time not hugging her. Tenía mucho tiempo de no abrazarla. There you go. Ojo con eso todo. ¿eh? Una cosa que puedes hacer es agarrar una oración de cualquier serie, película que estés viendo, lo que sea. Mm -hmm. Reemplazar el verbo. Cambiar el objeto. Cambiar el, el, el pronombre objeto, etc. Okay, so I had a doubt with you. Okay, I had a doubt with you. No, 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 a debt. Sorry, I had a debt with you. I'm going to pay it right now, okay? I had a debt with you. Tenía una deuda con ustedes, right? I had a debt with you. Let's go with it. Is it? Yes, there is. Okay, voy a abarcar este tema super rápido, pero antes de eso vamos a pasar lista, okay? So, sonrían, smile. One, two, three. <laughs> 
Diga, ¿cómo era que le dice? Diga, botón. Ojal. Ok. Que se lo sabe. Ok. Good. Second. Good, guys. Bien. Ya estuvo. Es un pasón de lista. So, let's go with um, the ED endings. Ok. Puso Anthony. Ok. okay. Acabas de cometer ese pequeño error, pero nos pasa a todos. ED endings. ¿Con qué se come eso? Ok. Los verbos, permítanme, los verbos regulares solo tienen una forma en el pasado y en el participio. ¿Cuál? Ok. Al agregarles ED, el pasado simple de los verbos regulares, nada más, es el mismo participio. Hay una regla que así se llama, pronunciation of ED endings, la pronunciación de los ED endings, pero... Voy a hacer esto súper rápido porque me estoy saliendo del, del topic. <coughs> okay. Hay tres reglas que seguir en la pronunciación de los CD endings en los verbos regulares. Pero antes de abarcarlos, hay que entender, si no te lo han explicado hasta ahorita, los verbos y todas las palabras en inglés tienen una, un sonido final. Okay. Todos tienen un sonido final. Y tenés que cumplir con eso. Ahora, la primera regla... La pronunciación dice que si un verbo termina en un voiceless sound, por sí solo el verbo en su forma base, no tiene sonido, no te deja vibración en tu aparato gutural. Y vamos a empezar por eso. Ponete las manos así en la garganta. ¿Ok? Y súper rápido vamos a hacer una comparación entre la primera regla y la segunda regla. ¿Ok? Vamos a ocupar el verbo help. Help. Ahí no hay vibración, no te queda vibrando la, la garganta. Next, look, look. Ok, la K viene de la garganta, pero no me queda vibrando la garganta, ni la boca, ni nada. Sniff, ok, sniff. Mira, laugh. Estoy pronunciando los verbos en su forma base sin el ED. Laugh, wash, watch, kiss. Dense, fix. Hasta ahí todo bien. So far so good. Ahora, entonces, los verbos que, es, que no tienen vibración en mi garganta, en mi aparato uh, bucal, esos, les agrego la ED, y el sonido final al agregar la ED sería t, t, la punta de tu lengua en la parte trasera de los dientes superiores, y decís t, 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 t. como le hacen los gatos chiquitos, ¿no? T, t, t. Ok. Hoy. Help, helped, help, look, 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 sniffed, sniffed, laughed, laughed, washed, watched, watched, kissed, kissed, danced, and fixed, fixed. Okay. I fixed my car. ¿Ves? Pasado. Ahora, no había vibración. Vamos a ver otra vez. Vamos con la segunda regla, que es la D, que, te, que ven acá. La, la lengua, siempre atrás de los dientes superiores, pero esta vez vibra la lengua, ¿ok? O entre los dientes. Bien, tocate la garganta y repetí conmigo. Y call, call. La lengua enrollada hacia atrás, call, el verbo base, call, clean, clean. Ese es un sonido nasal y te va a quedar vibrando la fosa nasal. Clean, ok. Next, offer, la lengua enrollada con una R, no es R, offer. Damage, damage, love, ese es más claro que todos, love. Ahorita exagera, ¿ok? Que no, no te importa si tenés caries en los dientes de adelante, no le haces. ¿Oí? Love. Use. Use. Amaze. Amaze. Rub. Rub. Climb. Climb. Igual, nasal. Ok, si sí hay vibración, si sí sentiste, ¿no? Entonces, cuando veas un verbo regular... 
eh, te puedes poner las manos, puedes sentir la vibración ya en tu boca, y entonces agregas ese sonido. The, the. Decís cold, cold, cleaned, damaged, damaged, loved, loved, used, amazed, robbed, robbed, climbed, climbed. ¿Ok? Esas son las dos reglas esenciales. Y la última dice que si un verbo ya en su forma base, ya de por sí termina en estos dos sonidos, en t, sonido t, o sonido d, ojo, d, ¿ok? Como want o need, ¿oí? want, need, agrego la ed y ya va a sonar a wanted, wanted o needed. Huh. Needed. Wanted. Needed. Ok. Ahora bien. Questions. Esto lo pueden ver. Recuerden que nomás terminemos la clase yo les voy a enviar el link para que vean el video en YouTube y puedan revisar ese contenido en español que les acabo de dar. Eh, pregunta. Levánteme la mano. ¿Les sirvió eso? Yes. Ok. Good. Good. Es muy importante, chicos, que... que aunque están en intermedio uno, sí, pero empezar a practicar la pronunciación. Ver, oír, repetir. Ok, let's go. So, I need you to start practicing with the question, have you ever cooked? And then move on with the conversation. I'll split you in trios so we can practice this. But please practice, okay? Let's do it together. Let's go. Okay, we're coming back. Okay, back in 2016. Back in 2016, are we all? Ya estamos todos, no? Are we all here? We're all here, yes. Okay, good. So, back in 2016, I had nothing to do. I was doing nothing. So, I took some time and I decided to translate the connectors. So, I started going one by one, one by one. Look at this. Do you know about connectors? Yes? Like furthermore, moreover, in addition, additionally. Oh, you cannot see, right? Can you see now? Better? Yeah. There you go. Okay. So we have connectors of addition, comparison. Okay. We have connectors of contrast, time, and it's a lot. Then we have result, summary, and example. I'll send you this image to the group, okay? The ones that we will be using are the ones of addition. Yes, addition. Because tomorrow, 
we are going to cook. Okay? We're going to cook. So in couples, on the WhatsApp group, you need to agree, agree with someone else. So Anthony, you can tell Gerardo, hey Gerardo, let's make couples, let's cook for tomorrow. Something easy, okay? Something easy like chicken if you want, I don't know, okay? Sopa maruchan. What? Sopa maruchan? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's very simple. So just any plate, but you have to tell me. So first, um, first you take the eggs, the ham, the vegetables, you take the butter from the fridge, then you walk to the kitchen, okay? You go to the sink, you wash the vegetables in your hands, and then you turn on the stove, okay? You, you light up the fire, you put the, the skillet or the pan, you put the pan on the stove, you, you throw some butter, what am I cooking? What am I cooking? You throw some butter to the stove, to the, span, to the pan, then you throw the vegetables, okay? The chop, chop, chop vegetables, and then you add the eggs, what am I cooking? Anybody? Alain, what am I cooking? What am I cooking? <laughs> I don't Anybody? know, teacher. I, I never okay. try to cook. Sopa and the alcohol. Omelette. Then you scramble. Omelette. Omelet. Uh. That's right. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Huevos revueltos. Yeah, you don't say mixed eggs. Okay? Scrambled eggs. <laughs> Scrambled eggs. Okay, so step by step. First, second, then after that also. Okay, that's the topic for tomorrow. So again, ¿alguien me puede decir qué es lo que acabo de decir que vamos a hacer que es la tarea para mañana? La receta. Que creemos un, ajá, como una receta o un párrafo por, para ah, que usemos la. Please a recipe in couples or trio. Ya, yeah. en, en parejas o en trío. Ok. But tienen que hablar todos. Ok. So couple by couple, you will go and present your dish. Ok. okay. okay. Les aparece una opción en su teléfono o en su pantalla para compartir su pantalla, ¿no? Yeah. Ok, yeah. valga la redundancia redundante. Ok, guys, do you have any questions? Algunas preguntas. Tenemos dos minutos todavía. ¿Alguien me puede hacer preguntas, inquietudes, dudas, sugerencias? Que me encanta que me digan, mire, teacher, peínese. O mire, teacher, leí de la boca. Uh -huh. sugerencia, no sé. Whatever you want to say. Ahorita es cuando. Uh -huh. Oh, Teacher, no. excuse me. ¿Cuáles serían las parejas o los uh -huh. grupos de trabajo? En el grupo de trabajo, en el WhatsApp group. Ahí se van a poner de acuerdo ustedes. No hay nada más difícil para el ser humano que ponerse de acuerdo en algo, señores. Y hay que afrontar esos miedos. Entonces, vamos a hablar. Si nunca les has hablado a un compañero de tu clase, hey, dale, ¿cuál es la pena? Decirle, hey, mira, ¿te parece si cocinamos algo? Cocinar, ah, vámonos de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Y te dice, él te dice que hagan arroz, tú le decís que frijoles, que es más fácil, hagan casamiento. Tiempo. Ok. Ok, good, Tipo, ok. Good. So, ahorita, ahorita en el WhatsApp group, start talking in English. Y ese es el otro reto, ¿eh? Todo eso es un reto para ustedes. So, in English, start talking, hey, Janet. Ok. And so on. Questions? Come on. No? No, Bien. no teacher. Okay. mañana. See you tomorrow. Same time at 8 o'clock, okay? Bye. Teacher, see you okay. tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow.